Good evening. I'm Ron Blessinger, Executive Director of 45th Parallel Universe, and thank you for joining us tonight for Fridays with 45th Parallel. Our performance tonight is dedicated to the Asian and Pacific Islander musicians and composers who continue to enrich and influence our lives with their consummate artistry. As a largely white organization in a largely white state, we have been the beneficiaries of the contributions and influence from the Asian artistic community. And it is with immense gratitude to our colleagues in the AAPI community that we present tonight's performances. Thank you for joining us. Hi everyone, I'm Martha Long and I'm going to play Memory by composer Chen Yi. Chen Yi originally wrote this piece for solo violin, which is her instrument, but she worked with Mary Holtzhausen to adapt this piece for flute. Also about this piece, Chen Yi writes, Dear Professor Lin, I wish you could hear the tune in memory, which sounds like my painful cry out of your name in our Cantonese dialect. I expressed my deep sorrow in the music to remember your fatherly mentorship. Your meaningful smile will always be with us encouragingly. So as you can hear, there are some deep emotions running through this piece. And in order to highlight those, Chen Yi asks the flute player to use a few extended techniques, such as flutter tonguing, pitch bends, and harmonics, which change the quality of the sound and create sort of an otherworldly haunting color. Here is Memory by Chen Yi.
Hi, I'm Xinyang Kwan. I'm going to play for you King's Theme for Solo Violin by Lee Sang Yoon. Lee Sang Yoon is a Korean-born composer who spent most of his professional career in West Germany at the time. And this King's Theme is based on the musical offering by J.S. Bach. So what Lee Sang Yoon does here is using the traditional Western theme and he uses all the ornamentals, like technical stuff in Korean style. So you'll hear long notes, which is King's theme, and a lot of extras in the end. <laughs> and those are supposed to simulate or emulate <laughs> the Korean technique. So hope you enjoy it. Thank you.
Hello, my name is Yoko Greening. Today I would like to share a short piece by Andy Akiho. Here's Andy to introduce his piece. Thanks, Yoko. This is a response piece titled Bagatelle, and it's a reimagination of the exposition to Beethoven's iconic Fifth Symphony. Hope you enjoy the performance. Thank you. Next is Apocryphal Dances by our dear friend Kenji Bunch. This piece was actually commissioned by 45th Parallel in 2017 and will be performed tonight by the Pixis String Quartet. Although he titled the work Apocryphal, there's no doubting the authenticity of the beauty of the music, the ingenuity of the writing, and the genuine warmth that we feel as we get to play it. The piece is in five movements. The first, Entree Grave, is a very somber piece in C minor. Next is Rigodon, inspired by the French Baroque dance of the same name. It's a lively piece in duple or two-beat meter. The third movement is the absolutely gorgeous Passacaglia, a set of variations over a fixed melody. The fourth movement, Musette, showcases Kenji's fondness for some fast fiddling. And the last movement, Tambourin, features our violist, Charles Noble, using his viola as a drum for the spirited finale. We hope that you enjoy apocryphal dances by Kenji Bunch, performed by the Pixis String Quartet. Thank you. 
Thank you to our amazing performers on this program. Dr. Shin Young Kwan, Yoko Greeny, Martha Long, the Pixis String Quartet, and to composers Andy Akiho, Chen Yi, Kenji Bunch, and Isang Yun. We want to also thank Dave Hertz and Matt Berliner for their recording expertise, and of course, Danny Rosenberg, who makes all of these concerts happen. Thank you, everybody. Your donations support the artists and can be made by following the links on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you so much for sharing your evening with us. Have a wonderful evening and good night.